The Omicron variant. Santa Clara County just detected new cases and it's becoming a growing concern across the world. Joining us live now is Dr. Art Reingold. He is the head of epidemiology at UC Berkeley School of Public Health. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Good to be with you. Now, are you seeing in your studies the same thing that there are signs pointing to a winter Omicron surge that this is going to be the next variant that we're talking about here? Well, I'm a Omicron or Omicron, depending on how you like to pronounce it, is definitely here in California. It's here in the United States and it's pretty much everywhere and it's rising rapidly. Um, you know, I think it, it's important to point out to people that whether it's Delta, whether it's Omicron, um, we have some tools that we should be using uh, to try and reduce uh, hospitalizations and deaths. Um, and it really doesn't matter whether it's uh, o Omicron or Delta. Uh, some of our answers are pretty much the same. But making predictions about this winter, yes, I think we're going to have lots of COVID-19. Okay, well, let's get to the Omicron because that's kind of been the topic of discussion uh, across all news agencies. And of course, that's what people are thinking about right now. What do we know about Omicron? Or more importantly, what don't we know? Is there any evidence to believe that it's more dangerous than other variants? Are people getting sicker? So we know it's more transmissible um, so that we can expect it to grow rapidly over the next few weeks in terms of how many infections it's causing. That's quite clear. Uh, what we don't know is the answer to your very important question is how sick does it make people compared to Delta or the other variants. Uh, and what we don't know terribly well yet is, is whether it's going to resist our vaccine-induced immunity any better than the other variants do. So, so there's still some important unanswered questions. But still the focus has been among the medical community, go out, get your booster, get vaccinated. So I wanna talk a little bit about how these vaccines work. We've talked about it for the past year or so, ever since they came out. Now, these vaccines aren't necessarily meant to stop you from testing positive for the virus. They're really meant to keep you from getting super sick or even in the hospital, right? So that's true for the COVID-19 vaccines. That's exactly right. There are other infectious diseases where the vaccines actually do prevent you from getting infected or sick in the first place. But uh, the coronavirus vaccine that causes COVID-19 is not one of them. So the early hope that we could achieve herd immunity, uh, that the vaccines, if we could get them into 70 or 80 percent of people, uh, would, would be enough uh, to, to stop transmission. That turns out not to be true of this virus and these vaccines. That's correct. So is there a chance, though, with this, the, the, the way that Omicron spreads and how quickly it spreads, is there a chance that we could eventually get into a more endemic situation here with coronavirus and that not only are more people vaccinated, but more people have actually had COVID and that could be hopefully the end of this or at least more tolerable, right? So, so talking about it being endemic basically means that like some of the other coronaviruses, it's constantly here, but at a low level. And that's certainly possible uh, with the, with the uh, COVID-19 virus. Uh, I think what you're referring to is related to that, which is that if we have a lot of circulation of a virus, uh, we'll have more people immune uh, and that there, that will help tamp down the cases. Uh, and, and that certainly may be the case. The problem with achieving population immunity that way uh, is that even if only a tiny percentage of the people who get infected get really sick and end up in the hospital and die, uh, that can still be an awful lot of people getting sick and dying who didn't need to. Right. And it can be a burden on the medical community and our hospitals, no question. Dr. Reingold, thank you so much. Always a pleasure. Happy holidays. You too. Good to see you.